I did what Ivan said. I dug my heels into Danny's flanks, jiggled the reins, and said, Giddy up, Danny. He refused to budge. I dug my heels in harder, flicked the reins angrily, and ordered, Danny, giddy up, now. Reluctantly, he left the clump of fresh green grass and headed down the deserted trail. I was beginning to get seriously worried. The weather seemed to be changing quickly. We were all alone in a foreign country riding on a three, on three horses, which we had never done before. We had no idea where we were, where we were if only we had brought our cell phones. When I relaxed, common sense told me that the instructor would come riding back for us as soon as she realized we were missing. And if she could not find us, she would tell our teacher and someone would call the police. Hey, this probably happened all the time. Kids riding off, getting lost, no big deal, right? Vanessa just enjoyed the ride, I told myself. Quit sweating the small stuff. I swayed from side to side as Danny stomped his way carefully through a patch of mud on the track. I gripped the reins tighter. It looked like a long way down to the ground. There was still no sign of our instructor and we reached the end of the long straight track. We rounded another bend and found ourselves riding between tall gum trees and thick brush that pressed in on us from either side. I could not see a thing beyond them. I knew there had be that be farms nearby, but I wish we were in open country so anyone looking for us could spot us easily. Ahoy, you there. The cry had come from somewhere nearby. A search party, I hope. I stand the ticket seeing nothing but wild birds starting through the foliage. I swung around and, and called to Sukmin and Ivan. Did you hear a voice? They shook their heads and I shrugged. It must have been my imagination. Suddenly, Danny came to a dead halt. He la let out a wild whiny. Danny, what's the matter? I whispered, fear seizing my spine. Silence surrounded us. Even the birds and insects had fallen quiet. I glanced behind me. Nan and children had stopped too. And Sukmin and Ivan met my worried gaze. What's with our horses? Ivan wanted to know. Maybe they have been spooked or something, Sukmin offered. Nonsense, Ivan said with a snort. I ignored him. Can a horse get spooked? I asked Sukmin. Of course. Loud noises like sirens or car horns make horses frightened. And fire. They are terrified of fire. She laughed. Ivan gave a mocking laugh. I cannot hear any loud s noises, he taunted. I cannot hear anything, in fact. And as for a fire, Sukmin glared at him. Stop mocking me, Ivan. You think you are so clever. Well, you are not. She dropped her voice, her eyes starting from side to side. Vanessa, the truth is that horses are very intelligent creatures. They can pick up sounds a human cannot hear. And they can sense things that we cannot. What kind of things, I asked her. Ghosts, supernatural presence, stuff like that. I stared from one side of the trail to the other. You mean there might be ghosts here? Like they are watching us now? Lightning blazed across the sky. A moment later, thunder shook the ground.